If I don't, if I don't film my tag on this rifle hunt, I can go on the late archery. And there's a lot better chance at a bomber of a buck on that late archery. So, just I think I'm gonna let this buck go. Keep working up into this basin. Work around, go around this ridge. Work my way out. side over here where I saw a buck go right here. I went and watched him go into a coulee. Didn't see him come out. Then the weather came in. 
but I watched it for a good hour and I didn't see him come out. That doesn't mean that he didn't. Hmm. This could get interesting. We're dry. Well, <coughs> the inside of my feet are dry. That's a big win right there. <laughs> Let's go find this deer. For me to switch, I have to have a reason for it, not just because something new came out. I shot weight for 19 years. It wasn't gonna be a bow I could trust this year. I mean, I shot all the different bow brands. I shot Matthews, I shot Elite. Went through the whole list and, and Prime stuck out to me. Draw this one back, it's just there. You're not waiting for the wobble to come out of your hand. I drew it back and let it rip and I was like, dang, order me one. And that was my story with Prime. So uh, I'm gonna get over here and get on the back side of this and try to do some glassing before it gets dark and then work my way back out down to my truck. So still a little bit perplexed, but that's why big bucks are big bucks is because they know how to they know how to get away. He knew I was on him on to him this morning. Looking at the topography now, I can see where he probably worked out this little, you know, right across this little shelf, just out of my view from over there and went over this off into the next wild blue yonder. So I'm going to see if I can cut his tracks over here. And um, if I can, then I might track him down a little bit until dark and maybe, maybe I can find him where he pops up. Otherwise, I'm going to work my way back over here and do some glassing. <sighs> That's just the way it goes. I could almost swear My heart gets colder with the air And it gets hard to say The things that I don't need
and all this as I've been going up and seeing little pockets of deer and then just moving to where I can get different angles down into some of these draws and I'm finding deer just not finding any bucks I mean what I consider a buck that's not just a little little forky or a little little dinker That's not a bad looking deer. I'm gonna put a spot and scope on him. That's not a bad looking deer. Get him to turn his head. See what he's got completely. Kind of like the buck I saw this morning real quick. He's looking up the hill, that's for sure. He's got eye guards. Oh yeah. It's a decent buck. It's not a bad looking deer. He's going left pretty hard. Just went behind that cedar. I'm gonna bust down there while he's out of view. Try to poke through these aspens right down here. Should be about I don't know, 100 yards above him, 150 yards above him. If he's still there.
that's a different box. <laughs> oh man. Had him like 85 yards right here. But there were some does closer, right at the edge of these aspens. And he just got hanky. I mean, there's no cover noise at all. So as I slunk down through this, they could, they could hear me, they couldn't see me. Until I popped out right here. Sweet spot. I need some cover noise. I need some flyboys to be flying over. Some jets. All right. Keep cracking. It doesn't look bucky to me. I couldn't tell you. You got 20 power binoculars. I can put the scope on him. Yeah. But I'm filming, so I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, like you can wander up there tonight. I need to pack around an extra tripod. That's what I need to do. It's mostly just good to get this this canyon glassed out. You know that there's a, some more to look at. Well, I was kind of. Best kinda... thing you can do for yourself is find all the deer first, all the deer that you're interested in, and then make a decision. Unless the perfect, unless the perfect opportunity is there, but. I was kind of thinking maybe tomorrow might be my last day. Um, and then head home tomorrow night or head home Saturday morning? <sighs> Saturday morning. I don't necessarily want to be here on the weekend. It's the last. Yeah, it could it'd get be thick. in the last two or three days of season. Yeah, it could get thick. It could get ugly. Steel is over three times stronger than aluminum, which means you don't have to fear that shoulder. Bam! Stronger and better penetration. So what does that really mean? Well, I guess that depends on how full you want your freezer. It's time to raise the stakes. Bring home the meat. Dead meat. Dead meat. All steel broadhead, 320% stronger than aluminum.
looks like he's falling asleep. His head's kind of popping. Looks like his eyes are closed. I'm exposed out here. I've been crawling across this. Stinking doe's got me. <sighs> it's working around perfect. Buck was snoozing. And then doe right below me heard something. She never did see me. And then they went down and the buck saw them and got curious. Then they kind of milled around for a little bit. I thought maybe they'd settle down and he bed down for a second and then got back up and then just staring for like a staring match for an hour, freezing, just sitting there just and uh, finally they got up and went off. It's fun. Oh well. Go see if I can glass up another buck for this evening. <laughs> All right, I'm uh, set up at a little bit of an ambush point. I watched these bucks kind of feeding around this ridge. So I came up on this backside. I'm gonna try to cut them off. They've been wanting to bed up in here. So I'm um, just hoping to be able to get tucked down in here nice nice and quiet this morning. And catch him come around. I don't have a lot of cover. I do got these big rocks, but it's just wide open. I, you know, hopefully I can get a shot, but I just gotta keep watch on this skyline real close without popping my head up and trying to catch them coming around before they catch me moving around. My fingers are crossed and they're frozen. For more information on the Solo Hunter rifle covers, vinyl harness system, and other accessories, or to connect with us on social media for exclusive photos and videos, log on to solohunter.com. Just perfect. Seth washed it all from the bottom. Got a, an arrow in him. There's some good blood, so we're just trailing it out. Got Sethy boy here. High school friend. Yeah, rock on. <laughs> just totally smoked a giant. It's a giant buck. Yeah. 
That's a giant yeah. buck. I knew I hit him good, but I watched him go around this rock here, so we're trailing it out. I just picked up the arrow right there. It's got some good bubbles in it. The blood looks like it's spraying into the snow. With snow. Oh, there's a bunch of blood on that sagebrush right there. You can see wherever he stops, it's just Yeah. He was hurting. Surprising that he's gone this far looking at the hole, man. It looks like it's bullseye. Looks like a perfect shot. It looks like a perfect shot. They're a tough animal. Yeah, they are. What you got there? There you go, sir. How does that look? You got it clear to the fletchings. It was a pass through, I knew that. I mean, you're up to that little Eastern Sigma. Any bubbles? There's a few bubbles there. There's quite a bit of bubble right here. All right. Let's get up to these boulders and maybe peek over. Okay. I always track down hey. Aaron when there's some packing to do. <laughs> Shot a big bull in Idaho, and Aaron came with me and found him the next morning and helped me pack him. And then we shot, shot this buck this morning, and Seth had to go back into town. His girls are playing in a basketball tournament today. Man, look, look at how long his length is on that thing. He's just a baby. Those length, look, that, that's got to be 12, 13 inches right there. That one's got to be 10. This one over here has got to be 11 and a half, probably. Two and a half inch high guards. What I want to know is why I'm, why am I letting my best friend handle my buck? Yeah, yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> Tim's what should be handling that thing. And he's got a cool little extra point there. Man, he's got to be pushing 180, I would imagine. Not the widest thing, but he's got makes up for it in length. I don't know what 180 means. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nice buck. He's he's definitely a cool deer. Nice buck. Couldn't ask for much more, right? No, no. Too bad Sethy had to run off to yeah, a ball game. Sethy had to run off, but he'll be excited to know that we got him. So. Oh, he is excited. I've texted him already. Boyd, <laughs> Remy, Riley. <laughs> Everybody's. Everybody uh, knows this deer's down right that, now. That, that, that's good right there. That's good fun. Yeah. Awesome. I like the color. These deer here just have the best color in their horns, and then mm. and their faces are just, just these gray face bucks. This is living it up right here, isn't it? Huh? Nice deer on the ground, big old buck, best friends, eating our stogies. <laughs> <laughs> this is better than a stogie. Swedish fish and the Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what's wrong with Aaron because there's a giant three by four down here. <laughs> I mean, he's wider than this, just as tall. No, yeah, heavy. Heavier, probably a year older. This is a giant deer, and Aaron's not going after it. Yeah, we'll, we'll make that go in a while when we get this one off the mountain, maybe. Look at Aaron's backpack, turn around. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll come help you pack a deer out. I'm not gonna bring a backpack, but I'll help you pack your deer out. <laughs> Thanks, right. Aaron. Well, I'm gonna... Better get another big hug. Good luck go over the hill. You can see you always. You too. All right, I'm gonna go over the hill, and I'll be back when you get him kind of cut up. And I'm gonna wait for going. Seth's ball games to finish so he can come up and help us pack it up. Yeah. <laughs> Midnight. <laughs> he, Seth can see him in the back of the truck when we Seth get home. Seth can see him when he's going home, right? He was so. pretty bummed when he had to leave the mountain. <laughs> oh, man, I've run out of time. i got to go get the ball game. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm going to run over the hill and okay. see if we can find that other one. All righty. I'm going to get the work done. Well, my packer left me. He uh, decided to go after that big buck, so I've got all the meat, cape, and horns. I gotta go up and out of the canyon and drop down to the trap. All right, nothing left but the, the grind. Got so much weight on my shoulders And you have to knock me out But I'm still home you never know till it's over You want an honest man But you don't understand I won't be here when You wake up again You want an honest man But you don't understand I won't be here when You wake up again 
last time I had a good shot right here. Oh, I'm beat. Beat, beat. Oh.